The Water Resource Authority is urging dam owners in the country to comply with regulations governing ownership of the water bodies to ensure the protection of lives of people who live around them and to preserve the environment that surrounds them. WRA officials led by the CEO Mohammed Shuri inspected dams in Naivasha sub-county following heavy rains that have caused a substantial rise in river floors, dams, lagoons and subsequent overtopping of the banks and flooding of the adjacent low-lying lands in most parts of the country. Led by WRA CEO, the authority inspected Subati flowers in Naivasha sub-county, Karati Dam, Kahurukopan, Elishan Farm, Sida Farm and Karai village following distress calls by surrounding communities about the safety of the structures. The management of the Subati farm, which has six reservoirs, was compelled by authorities to rechannel water from one of the reservoirs to the river. Now all, the, all of them are full, and now they are now almost now discharging water now to the, to the river. So that's, that's what we are interested. We are interested now to see the water now they are releasing from here, is it going to affect people downstream? So at least we can now talk to the Kenyans at the downstream, so at least now they can be very careful. Because we don't want to have a scenario where we had in Mamahiu and the other areas. This is a well-maintained reservoir, which has a dam liners and whatever. It's not like uh, somebody dig the hole and then put the water. Now between the water and the, between the soil is a called dam liner, thickness of 1.5 mm. The company have contained their water in a good way, but the issue that we have found or we have seen today is overflowing water, which is going to uh, to the to the houses of the residents. But we have talked with the owner of the company, and he have uh, agreed and uh, to, to channel the water to the river.